Well, Liam, welcome to Rome. Are you buzzing to be here? Yeah, it's great. Look, the stadium's amazing. The city's great. Obviously, we're not going to get to see much of it before the game, but um, it's, it's good to be here, really looking forward to the game. Yeah, and what do you expect from the game? It's a, a huge opportunity, isn't it, for you to keep European progression in your own hands? That's it, yeah. We know we need three points to, to have a chance, and that's what we're here to do, go and win the game, because, look, we've come close in these European games. We've played well in, at times in the games. We've had good spells, but we haven't come away with the results and, and been punished. So this is the, the ch last chance, really, we have to um, turn that around and go and get a win. Stadio Olimpico, you can see it here. It's absolutely magnificent. What's been the chat amongst the players in the dressing room as you look to try and get one over on Lazio, having, obviously, the disappointment of match day two? Yeah, obviously that that still still hurts a bit, and that's in our minds, in the back of our minds. But look, we're just going to treat it like we do every other game. Obviously, we know there's a bit more riding on this now that we need the win to to stay in Europe, and that's that's really what we're here to do. Mm -hmm. And the manager said discipline is a key factor given what's happened in the last two away games. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I think I think we've been unfortunate with yeah. the with the red cards, and maybe domestically. You might get away with them, but the referees, we know the referees are, are stricter in Europe, mm -hmm. so we need to be more careful, I suppose. I think it's more about being careful than being disciplined. I think we are disciplined side, it's mm -hmm. just you need to be that little bit extra. Yeah, I mean. it's definitely fine margins, isn't it? What have yeah. you learned then from that game on match day two, just as, with regard to coming up against the, the forwards from the Lazio team? Yeah, look, they're, they're top quality. Obviously, Immobile scored over 200 goals mm -hmm. here. and He's a, like a world-class striker, but... We played against world-class class strikers against Atletico Madrid as well and, and Feyenoord and we're sort of, we're, we're used to it now. We do our research on them, we do our um, homework and, and we're, we're well prepared. Is the Atletico Madrid result out the system? It was it was a tough tough game obviously and, and the sending off didn't help. They, mm -hmm. they Once the red card happened they controlled the, the game and, and didn't really give us a chance and that sort of gave us an insight into the levels we need to get to mm -hmm. to compete at this level and look, a win tomorrow will definitely put it out of the system. Yeah, it certainly would. And it changes the narrative, doesn't it? Because you then get back to Celtic Park against Feyenoord with pretty much it all to play for. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And we know at Celtic Park, you know, we could we could probably beat anyone on our day and, and that's that's what we need to we need to give ourselves the opportunity to mm -hmm. go and do that after. So we're really, really looking forward to it. How would you sum up this season from your own perspective? It's just been a whirlwind, I suppose. It's been great. Um there was times I thought maybe my future was going to be elsewhere and then a couple of injuries happened and I'm in the team and playing big games now and I've been capped internationally. So it's, it's been the best two or three month spell of my career to date and long may it continue, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, do you just sit back at times, you know, away from training and away from the games and, and try and take it all in? How do you take it all in? Like you say, things could have looked so differently for you this season. Yeah, de definitely. Like, I, I don't... I, I sort of try to take in these moments, you know, before games when the Champions League music comes on and in these different stadiums. I do try and take it in because, mm -hmm. like, there was just uh, there was a massive chance I wasn't going to be here to experience these things, and who knows how many of these games I'm going to play in. So I, I take take it all in before the games. Try and sort of big deep breath, take it in, and then straight into the into the game. But what about the way that you've handled it, though? You must be quite proud of yourself, the way that you've adapted, and you know, you are a mainstay at the moment in the team. Yeah, I like I'm definitely proud and and um I've always believed that given the chance I'd be able to go and sort of establish myself here. It was just there's so much competition and, and it's a it's a tough place to, to play, there's a lot of pressure. But I had the belief that if I got the chance to get a run of games that I had the ability to, to do well and stay in the team. And I'm just delighted that 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 it's happened now.